my talk about a uh, database and a tool that we recently developed in the identification and researching of anti-CRISPRs. So a brief overview of my uh, presentation today. Uh, first, I'd like to introduce the CRISPR-Cas and anti-CRISPR system, and then uh, ACR Finder, the tool, and ACR DB, the database. So CRISPR, or Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats, was first discovered uh, back in 2005, and, but it was not until 2007 that the first experimental evidence that CRISPR was an adaptive in, uh, immune response or immune system was published. So anti-CRISPR was uh, first discovered back in 2013 by uh, Joseph Bondi et al. Uh, in Pseudomonas phages and prophages. Uh, anti-CRISPRs are CRISPR-Cas nature's off switches. So this gives uh, anti-CRISPRs a huge potential for making genome editing more controllable because CRISPR-Cas is very famous and well applied in the field of genome editing. So CRISPR-Cas and anti-CRISPRs when used together has the potential of making genome editing more controllable. In other words, more safe. This technology, although it's very new, uh, and it's still being refined and further studies as we speak, but I believe this technology will be of great use in the understanding, the treatment, and the prevention of obesity diseases. So as of now, there are three major approaches to the screening of new anti-CRISPRs. There are the homology approach, the gil by association approach, and the self-targeting spacer approach. So homology approach searches for new anti-CRISPRs based on sequence similarity, but since um, Anti-CRISPRs do not share much homology between families. Thus, homology approach may not be the best approach uh, when looking for new anti-CRISPRs. Um, the kill by association bioinformatic approach uh, they identifies putative anti-CRISPR genes on the basis of their genomic location rather than sequence similarity. Usually, uh, it tries to locate the upstream of anti-CRISPR-associated genes. So these genes are more conserved compared to anti-CRISPRs, uh, and they're constantly, well, very um, abundantly uh, found to be associated with anti-CRISPR genes. Finally, the self-targeting spacer approach. Um, this approach works on the idea that if CRISPR spacers self-targets its own genome, and that will mean once this system is activated, it will cause a cell death. But if somehow the cell is still there, then there must be some sort of complexes in that cell. Maybe the anti-CRISPRs is stopping the cells from self-destructing. Thus, it was postulated that any genome in which self-targeting occurred was likely to carry an anti-CRISPR gene in that same cell. So. We built uh, the tool ACR Finder by combining the three bioinformatic approaches, uh, the homology search approach, the go by association search approach, and the self tagging spacer approach. Uh, our tool is the first tool to do this, and our tool is also the first tool to identify anti-CRISPR genetic operons. So this tool was published uh, last year on nuclear acid research. We also created a web interface for uh, ACR Finder where you can upload your genome of interest and screen for potential anti-CRISPRs. Uh, you're more than welcome to try the server if you're interested. So moving to ACRDB, we used ACR Finder to build this database. However, um, we also collaborated with uh, two other machine learning focused teams in the curation of the data. So we basically used all these tools and we sc screened all the complete genomes of bacteria, uh, the archaea genomes, and the complete prokaryotic viral genomes of the NCBI database to look for potential new anti-CRISPR uh, genetic operons. So we also built a web server for ACRDB. So here are a couple of screenshots. Um, so in A here, you can browse by different options, and then B here uh, has tables containing a variety of information, all on the anti-CRISPR low side. There's a, a circular representation of the genome, the low side is in, and a linear representation of the low side, you know, all, all to give the user a better understanding um, of the data. So um, with that, I conclude my presentation. Um, uh, thank you all for listening.